What is up guys, it is Zach Ploche, and in today's video, I'm going to show you where to learn Vim and the best places, in my opinion, to learn it. Uh, so let's go ahead and share my screen. We're going to open up Chrome and type in Vim download. So you're gonna to wanna to download Vim if you haven't already. Um, so yeah, you'll go to the website. If you're on Windows, of course, you can just download the, uh, yeah, standard self-installing executable. That's probably the easiest version. Um, yeah, so that should be pretty self-explanatory once you get it. Um, and then you'll know it's there once you type in, you're able to go to your command prompt and just type in Vim. And that's how you know whether or not it was properly installed. So now that that's there, um, let's see. You're gonna, uh, now that that is installed, you can, uh, you should be able to type in Vim Tutor like so. So V-I-M Tutor. And that should pop up a small window explaining the uh, essentially the Vim commands. So this is a, a built-in, whoops, wrong button. Bleep, whoops, also wrong button. So this is a built-in um, tutorial with Vim that walks you through a bunch of basics on how to actually use it. Uh, so it's broken up into different lessons, starting with, of course, uh, the basic movements, which are, uh, J, K, L, and H. So these are, or I should say H, J, K, and L. Um, so yeah, these are probably the ones that you'll first start with. And then um, learning, going through this will get you a decent way there. Um, another option that you have is uh, typing in Vim like so. And inside of Vim, um, you're going to want to press colon and then type in help. So in here, this is the official Vim documentation. Um, so let's see. Yeah, it says Vim main, uh, yeah, Vim main help file. Uh, and it gives you all the instructions. So how to move around, how to do a few things here, how to close the window, get out of Vim, jump to a subject or go there with the mouse. Um, let's see. So if we go down here, right. So Let's see. Yeah, so starting at the user manual. So the user manual is actually where I started learning from. And um, uh, to learn most of what you need, um, I would probably say that just the getting started section is where you're going to get the most value. And um, so, uh, yeah, getting started, there is this next part and then editing effectively, tuning, turning Vim. Oh, tu yeah, tuning Vim. Um, I, I don't think... I don't think I've specifically gotten that far, or maybe I have. Um, well, installing them, but that's kind of funny that that's after everything else. Um, but a bum. Yeah, I, I would say that like just going through these different um, items here are, is uh, going to get you a lot of the way to where you want to be, to where you're up to speed in Vim and you're coding a lot faster. If you watch my previous tutorials, you'll see that I've been um, that I typically use Vim because I found it to be much faster. And I was one of those people that was like, ah, oh, why do you have to learn another language? Is it really worth it? And uh, I can tell you it's 100% worth it if you see yourself coding for the, for free, for, for the foreseeable future. Um, so yeah, and I've also tried, um, what is it? There's like a Vim video game, Vim video game. Uh, I can't remember the name specifically. Um, yeah, so Vim Adventures is one. Um, I didn't find it find it to be super useful because after like, uh, it's it starts getting into some like uh, I think where the marks in Vim become like a thing. The game just it kind of starts getting confusing to me. <laughs> so it becomes more of a puzzle and not really, I guess super focused on like learning how to use Vim. So um, you can use that. Um, there's also this other one called Vim Golf, which is like another game that's uh, more so just practice. Um, let's see, Vim Golf, uh, that this is apparently pretty fun. And then there's also Vim Snake. So this is just like a snake game with Vim um, that uh, I can't say it's for learning, but uh, let's see. Yeah, it is fun to use once you're actually good with Vim. Um, let's see. Bloop. Yeah, so it, it's it's pretty nice once you finally get it, but that's not really for learning again. That's just for once you want to flex and you already know Vim pretty well. 
Uh, so yeah, those are the main two parts. So Vim Tutor and the user manual are going to be uh, my number one most recommended places to learn Vim. So that is the video. Um, yeah, plain and short. Uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching and bye for now.